Hey guys, it is time for a battery test battle between the LG G5 versus the iPhone 6S. So I'm just going to show you guys that this is the 6S model. So let's go ahead and first unlock both phones. Okay, here we go. Same thing with the G5. Now the brightness of both phones are different. Uh, the G5 has a slightly, uh, you can say, uh, dimmer display, while the iPhone 6S it has a really bright display if I have the brightness on the fold. So just to keep the things equal, I'm going to have the brightness a little bit lower on the iPhone, like about this level. Now, I don't know if you can see through camera, but they are looking pretty much equal. So, and here you can see the brightness is me to the maximum level on the LG G5 and the battery is 100% uh, okay, so they are fully charged and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to launch a game on both phones which is the GTA San Andreas game and uh, this time I'm going to have uh, the same type of uh, uh, environment, you know, that's, kinda, that's a mistake that I made in the S7 Edge video, uh, so I apologize, but again, uh, the S7 has still you know, one, uh, even though the, that test was a little bit uh, in favor to the LG 5 but I'm just going to start the game here, and I'm going to move the character at the same time on both phones, and I'm just going to play this game for like, uh, you could say, for some few times, or a few, few minutes, you can say, so, okay, so, I'm just going to move CJ, both phones, Okay, let's see here. So now they are rendering the same amount of stuff, you know, the traffics and the, uh, all the, you know, graphic stuff, you know. Uh, look at that. I'm just going to move the camera, same type of rendering. And obviously we're going to just keep this thing running for about some time. And it does feel like the iPhone 6S is actually having a little bit of smaller display of course. Resolution is also the difference. So I'm just going to start the timer. And I'm going to leave these two phones right at this position. Guys, so it's been three minutes, and and uh, I don't know if you can see through camera, but the brightness on both phones are almost equal. Again, I can explain that the Retina display is more brighter compared to the LG's display, so that's why the brightness uh, I cannot set it to the maximum level. So that's a, a, a unfair thing to do that I did actually in the S7 Edge video. So that's why I set the set the brightness a little bit lower, and uh, you can see both are actually. On at the same location, they are rendering the same stuff. Cars going, people are going, and uh, train is also moving. So, uh, yeah, it's a fair and square test, and I'm gonna do this test for about 20 minutes. So. Alright guys, it's been 20 minutes, of course 20 plus minutes here, so I'm just going to stop this and I'm really curious to see the results. So again, the situation were, uh, was same on both phones, you know, same type of graphics, scenes, so I'm just going to go back to the home screen and see what kind of battery percentage we have on both phones. Alright, let's see here on the iPhone we get 94 person 
on the LDG5 we also get 94% so both are actually equal that's pretty amazing and I can feel that both phones are warm and yeah they are warm equally can't feel any difference so yeah uh, it's a draw it's a draw I'm really amazed and obviously a lot of people uh, uh, wants to know about uh, other stuff like you know watching YouTube videos and all that but gaming is actually the most um, CPU and GPU extensive thing you know uh, I call if you if you just play games and you use YouTube and if you go to settings and check out your battery stats it's gonna tell you that games actually take more battery eat more battery compared to apps like YouTube and Instagram you know uh, but again very nice performance on both phones I this is the iPhone 6s again the LG G5 has a, a quad age display uh, and the iPhone 6s has a 4.7 inch display so again it's a, this one is having a 5.3 quad inch display so again a lot of pixels there to push and uh, also uh, the G5 also has a 2800 milliamp hour battery which is again a bigger battery uh, compared to the iPhone 6s battery so yeah you know a lot of difference there but again you can roughly see that both phones can give you a good gaming experience and uh, 20 minutes of gameplay uh, will drop around 6% so that is exactly uh, what happened when I tested out uh, when I tested the G5 against the uh, Galaxy S7 Edge so yeah same results so do let me know in the comment section down below which other phone you want to see the G5 go head to head against uh, probably you know I'm getting comments about the Nexus 6P so the next video will be uh, the G5 versus Nexus 6P battery drain test please stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out